had a rather cynical start to the program, but now I'm going to go across to those who did vote, because half the people of Bengaluru don't seem to have voted, but half of them have. Keep checking. Now, Abbas, you work closely with Prakash Raj, the candidate from Bengaluru Central, where we are right now. It must feel very flat for a politician after all that effort that people don't actually come out to the booths. Yeah, absolutely, it does. We, like Revati said, we are hoping for a 60% at least where the millennial voters come yeah. in. The, uh, the voters who are really looking for the first time. Yes. I'll tell you what has happened. You know, when you smell mud, it's rain. When you smell tar, it's elections. <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly, people think of it as a holiday. All right, it's going to be a long weekend. Yes. Yes. And let me tell all our beautiful, wonderful Bangaloreans, our beautiful citizens, that voting day is not a national holiday. It's a day where you use your constitution constitutional right, your fundamental right to go out there and vote. The rest of the days could be over, uh, other days. It's very easy on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram to say, you know, to say against a political party or a political neta. But if you want to make a difference, if you want to change, you really need to go out there and vote. I think, I think politics today has become a bad word and a politicians is a swear word. So therefore, if you wish to make a change, especially the young voters, you need to start the change. But we're looking at Bengaluru and who voted. Okay, again. Welcome back to this discussion in Bangalore on the day that the city was meant to have voted, but provisional figures showing a turnout of less than 50%. We've talked about, the students told us some of the issues that they consider huge. What for you, since you're really kind of involved in the campaigning, what for you were the issues that got people out, the ones who did come out? Oh, the biggest issue being the ones who vote, uh, most of them below poverty line. The, they are used like a crane and brought to the polling stations, voting stations, and they're sent back. So much of money is involved. Most of the campaigns, the political parties, polarize the votes in terms of money, religious tactics. Also, the political parties give the ticket to even those who have criminal records or who are even accused and convicted and they are given the tickets so this is a big factor where i think the urban voters okay. the other side of voters back out because they think why should we vote for the criminal why should we vote for somebody we have no respect